Hi, I'm Margaret and I have been really looking forward to sharing this baked cheesecake recipe with you. It came from a family visit to New York some years ago and seems to be requested at most family get-togethers since then. As soon as we tasted it, it was clear that it had to be recreated when we returned home. It took a little while to develop the final recipe, but I can promise you for a baked cheesecake, it is quite straightforward to make. It is my authentic New York cheesecake. These first ingredients are for the cookie base, which needs to cool in the fridge after cooking. So I will give you the cheesecake ingredients later in the video. The full recipe, as always, is in the description below. So, when making this recipe, I always double line the tin. The cheesecake mixture is quite thin, so two layers of paper will help prevent any leaks while it's baking. You can use a mixer or rub the butter in by hand. Every time I make this cookie base, I don't think it's going to be enough. Use your fingers to press it into the edges and smooth it over. It will be enough and will give you a nice thin base.
when the base has cooled in the fridge for a little while, you can start the cheesecake mix. When you make this recipe for the first time, you will get better results if you mix with a wooden spoon. Using an electric whisk, you get air bubbles which may spoil the surface of the finished cake, especially at the point where you add the eggs. I spend some time tapping the bubbles out, but you won't have to do this if you use a spoon. I just prefer using a whisk. If you see any bubbles, tap the tin gently on the table until they rise to the top. If they don't break, use the spoon to smooth over the top and burst them. It's really important that you don't open the oven door until the end of the second hour. The cake will continue to bake even though the oven is off, as there is still residual heat in the oven. This cheesecake will not last long. Every time I went to take pictures for the last part of this video, a little more had gone. Hope you enjoyed making and baking with me. See you next week for a chocolate treat.